Ladies and gentlemen, do you have the need for a weight or to MP3 converter or any format to MP3 or any format to another format converter? Well, I have the perfect free solution. All right, let's go ahead and check out this program. Let's open up my web browser. This is from NCH, and this is Swift Audio File Conversion Software. Uh, you can convert any music to any format you see here. Most of all, it's free. So I recommend you go download it at www.nch.com.au slash switch, okay? Again, that is nch.com.au slash switch, and you'll see the address on the bottom of the screen, alright? Alright. So, I already have it downloaded, so we can close this browser out. Oh, type in the browser. This one's a little Firefox with an add-on. Alright, so you can go to Start, All Programs, Switch, but what I'm going to do, just go ahead, open up with the icon here, in my little object dock, that's what they like to call it. This is the uh, Star Dock object dock, it can hold up my icons and things. Alright, so we'll switch back up. So you can add entire, entire, entire folders, or just one, and I have a folder here called WAV to MP3, so open that, and you'll see all of these WAV files that I need to turn into MP3s, and there is actually a MP, and guess what, right here, the one highlighted is an MP3, that one right there is an MP3, that's because I used the Switch program, but let's exit out, let's go back to Switch, instead of adding a folder, I'm just going to add one file to show you. Let's add this file right here. Open. Alright, so you choose the place where you want to click browse to tell you I want to put it back inside of that Wave to MP3s folder. Okay. And look at all of the options. We've got Wave, AU, AIF, FGSM, VOX, RAW, RSS, M3U, PLS, WPL, WMA, MP3, AUG, Vorbis, FALAC, AAC, M4, AAMR. We're going to stick with MP3 here. Alright, so we click Convert. Yes, I would like to override it. We click Convert, and it just saves the audio file. Alright, we should be about almost done, and we are done. By the Indicated by the little check mark right here on my little thing. Is, see where I click there? Right there is a little check mark indicating that it's successfully saved there. And before I do it, you can edit some options here in the Options tab. You can edit some options. But, even better, since this is an MP3, you can edit the audio tags or the ID3 tags. Go to Edit. Make sure make sure you have that highlighted. Go to Edit. Audio tag on Control T. You can enter all this information that will show up anytime somebody opens that file. Like in, like in Windows Movie Maker. I'm not, sorry, Windows Media Player and iTunes and all that great stuff to read ID3 tags. Alright, click OK. And you can exit out. And there you go. Let's open up this folder and see if it's in there. And there it is. Our MP3 amongst every other WAV file in this folder. Alright, I'm just going to bring this out here. Uh, and delete it. Let's just take it and drag it to the trash bin. Let's go ahead and exit out. Click no, we'll just drag it to our trash can. Bye bye. Alright. Hope you enjoyed that quick and simple tip. The address is on the bottom of your screen again. It's www.nch.com.au slash switch. Uh if you want to download this. It's called NCH Swift Audio File Conversion Software. It's an amazing software that can convert any file to any file, okay? Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this segment of tips and tricks.